Well, I can't think of a more fitting time for Ebony to join us is when we're continuing on with geography, and now we're going to talk about animals and where they live in the world. And so, um, basically, you want to have your continent cards so that you can talk about which continents and where they live. So I'm fetching those right now, but Ebony is taking up half of our map. But I thought it'd be fun to work around her. Let's see how it works. Okay, so I have my continent labels here. I have my animal cards. So this should just be fun and interactive. It could be a really good precursor for going to um, the zoo or to like a wildlife um, place in your area. So I have two sets of cards. There's 36 um, flash cards in each one of them. This one is the U.S. animals. So they're specific to um, the U.S. And this one is animals of the world. So we'll start with this one. And you can do two different uh, presentations. One of animals of the United States and then animals of the world. And so, and you can put them in your container on the shelf um, outside of the box and put the box away. Or you can leave them in the box. It's up to you. So, um, I'm getting them out of the box. Okay. So, um, we can talk about, well, we'll first talk about animals of America since that's starting with things closer to the child. So you can say we're going to talk about animals of North America or the United States, however you want to word it, because there are, a lot of these are also in Canada. A rattlesnake. Wow. So that is in the United States. I would have them go ahead and label because they should already have had a lesson um, labeled North America. And that's where, you know, we're going to focus. So North America. And then we can start putting the animals there. So we have rattlesnakes. And this is a Gila monster. Wow, how cool is that? Looks like a big lizard. Okay. A crocodile. We have crocodiles in North America. And alligators. They're a little bit different. They look similar, but they're different. And we have a kangaroo rat. It bounces around, hops around on his feet. We have mountain goats. Wow, they live in the cold. Look at the mountain goat. He has horns. Okay. A chipmunk. Oh, he is cute. Got little stripes. Okay. This is a proghorn, pronghorn. Wow. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Picari. A picari kind of looks like a pig. Picari. And then on the back of these cards, it gives their classification, their weight, everything about them, their lifespan, um, what they're called in a herd, and what their babies are called. So you can really get into it with them if you want. Coyote. Can you howl like a coyote? Howl. Make it fun. Evan, you're howl. Uh oh. It scared her. She ran away. Sorry about that. Red fox. A red fox. A gray wolf. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. I bet they howl too. A white tailed deer. They have antlers. They live in North America. There's Ebony, not on the map, sweetie. 
skunk, a skunk. Oh, they stink. Skunk. A raccoon. It's hanging in the tree. A raccoon. Look at his eyes. Raccoons live in North America. We have lots of animals in North America. A prairie dog. Prairie dog. Oh my goodness. A moose. Wow, he's got a big nose. Ooh, a grizzly bear. He caught a fish. A grizzly bear. Oh, this is a cougar. A cougar. Bobcat. Can you say bobcat? They're wild. If you see a bobcat, don't try to pet him. They're dangerous. A black bear. They're dangerous too. See his big teeth? Black bear. When animals are in the wild, you have to leave them alone. They don't know to be nice to people because they don't see them very much. A big horn sheep. Wow, those are big horns. A beaver, a beaver, he's got big teeth. Wow. A badger, a badger, it looks like he caught a snake. Look at his toenails, he's got a stripe on his head. Beautiful creation. God created all these animals different and unique. Bison. Bison. He's got lots of hair around here and horns. Big nose. Bison. A manatee. Oh my goodness. So these animals live on the land. And the manatee lives in the water. We're going to put him over here. He lives in the water. Let's see. Here's an orca. Oh, he's jumping out of the water. A big, huge orca. He lives in the water like the manatee. California sea lions. Oh, they've got flippers. They live in the water. A sea otter. A sea otter lives in the ocean. A blue marlin. Wow, look at his pointy nose. Big fish. I know they go fishing for blue marlins. A gray whale. He's got a little baby. Boy, that's Big. He lives in the, in the water, in the ocean. And here's a turkey. Boy, is he funny looking. Look at that. Beautiful feathers. A turkey. He lives on the land. And then this bird is a rosy spoonbill. Rosy spoonbill and they fly in the air he looks like he's looking for a fish to eat so they live in the air i'm going to put him up there a road runner they're fast i've seen a road runner very fast i'm going to put him with the birds and this is a very special bird it's called the bald eagle because look at his head. Looks like he's bald because it's white, but they call him a bald eagle. And every country has a special bird that they say is their very special bird. And in the United States of America, we say the bald eagle is our very special bird. So people are not allowed to kill them. They have to take care of them. The bald eagle is the symbol for America. So you talk about all the animals in America live on 
on the land and the water and the air and then you can move on to the next one which is animals of the world and it has a walrus these live in the world this says the habitat is the arctic coast and seas so this walrus lives down here by Antarctica in the cold, cold water. Murcat. This is a murcat. And the murcat lives in South Africa. Here's Africa. And the manatee which we have here, we know lives in America. So we'll pick this one here. So try not to double up, but the manatee lives in America and an octopus. Wow, look at that creature. He has eight arms. Look at his eye. So the octopus lives in the coastal waters. He lives in the water. He lives in the coastal waters. We're going to put him here in the water. And the orca we know lives here in America. And it just says all oceans. So even orcas live way over here and they go all over in the water. The howler monkey. It's like a mama with the baby lives in South America. So South America is here. So the howler monkey lives in South America. The Siberian tiger. Beautiful. Look at his stripes. Look at his teeth. Big paws. They live in Russia. Russia is over here in Asia. This orange part. Zebras, oh my goodness, boy, those are amazing. And they live in Africa too, like the mercat, they live in Africa. And the gorilla, oh, this one's got a baby. In Africa as well, they live in Africa. This is a koala bear. And they live in Australia. Australia. That's way over here. Australia. And you can ask them to find the continent to see if they remember. Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. They also live in Africa. There's another monkey. And what you're doing is growing vocabulary. An anteater. Wow, look at their nose and piquing their interest in sharing with them. South America, over here in South America, an anteater. Be fun to go see an orangutan, orangutan, orangutan. Wow, in the rainforest of Borneo and Sumatra. So we'll put that over here. Be honest with you, Borneo and Sumatra, the rainforest. All right, um, Sifaka, Lemur, a Lemur. They live in Madagascar, which is in Africa. A Ginu, a wildebeest. They have two names. Wow, is that a crazy looking animal? So amazing. God has an imagination. This is in the Sahara, Saharan Africa desert. There we go. A polar bear. Sure looks cold there with all that snow. A polar bear. In the Arctic coasts, down here where it's really cold. An Indian rhinoceros. He's got a big horn on his nose. 
he lives in India and Nepal, which is in Asia. Wow, that's far from America. That's far from us. A leopard. A leopard. And they live in Africa and Asia. So I'm going to put this in the middle. They live in Africa and Asia. I got to see one when I was in Africa. And this is called an African elephant. And they live in Africa. This is a bison, a bison. And we learned about that, and he lives in America. So I'll put that one there. Red kangaroo, a kangaroo. Lives in Australia, way over there in the continent of Australia. Capybar, capybar. In South America, way down here, South America. A kimono dragon, kimono dragon. In the Indonesian islands. He lives in the islands. Indonesia is right here. The Indonesian islands. An ostrich. Ostrich. They live in the African continent, on the African continent. A giraffe. I saw a giraffe when I was in Africa. They live in Africa. A moose. A moose. I think we had a moose in America. Nope, this one. Yeah, they live in North America. Here. They live in Europe. Here. And they also live in Russia. So up here is where the moose lives, but we have them here too in America. A sloth. He hangs from the limb. A sloth. And they live in South America. A giant panda. A panda. They live in the forest in China, which is in Asia. Hippopotamus, a hippopotamus. I saw them, they live in Africa. I went on a safari, an African lion. I got to see an African lion in Africa. A saltwater crocodile, he lives in the ocean, in Australia. Wow, this is a, a king cobra snake. I think they live in India and Asia. Yep, up here in Asia. This is a python snake. They live in Africa, Asia, and Australia. So they live in Africa, Australia, and Asia. So they live all over on the land. And that's the Animals of the world. Oh my goodness, they're so different. God makes good things, really cool things. I want to travel and see all the animals. Going to the different continents to see the animals. So make it exciting. Make plans. Travel. Enjoy showing your child the world that we live in. And Ebony is helping us out. Thanks for joining us, Ebony. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Have a great day, and please subscribe and like and tell your friends about my channel. I hope to help you with your next geography lesson. I also have videos on math, how to teach language, how to teach art, practical life. I'm a Montessori trained teacher, and so I'm helping parents learn how to teach their children. And these decks of cards I found at a dollar store for just a couple of dollars each. So it doesn't have to be expensive to teach your child. Hope that was helpful.